and welcome and welcome back to the channel. So as you guys know that I have completed my studies from University of Waterloo. And when I was in Waterloo, my dream was to come to Toronto and work here. I love Toronto. So I got job in Toronto, I got my PR, I paid off my loan. So the next milestone any international student see is to get a house for the COVID hit and I thought COVID would be the right time to start investing in the real estate market because history will repeat itself. As in 2008 housing market crash and I thought that maybe in COVID also it will happen again and, I, and it did get crash guys. This house was listed for $1 in Toronto in the main area of, and this house was actually sold for $1.2 million. Yes, it was listed for $1 and got sold for 1.2 million. I don't see a correlation between $1 and $1.2 million. But the real estate agent said that it was a tactic to attract a lot of bidders on this house. As if nobody knows that it is impossible to get a house for $1 in Toronto. Matlab asi koi ek dollar dal ke shagan paan jana seega. Aray deva! Ye gud bade baba! Obviously, it is not possible to get a house in Toronto for $1. During COVID, housing market was so crazy that every house used to sell for way above their asking price. There was so much bidding war for just one house. And obviously, for first time home buyers, it was nearly impossible to buy a house. And among all this, there is a guy, Sahil Jaggi. He's an Indian. And he has 17 houses in Toronto. Can you believe 17 houses? Every day he might be living in some house. So he has 17 houses. Why I'm including his story? Because it is an inspiration for international students like us. He also came to Canada to study from Wilfrid Laurier in finance at the age of 18 from India as an international student. And after completing his studies, he went to New York. And after saving around $80,000, he came back to Toronto and bought his first home. Basically, he's an entrepreneur and a real estate agent. And he buys houses, rents them, and that's how he earns money. His story is true inspiration for all the international students like us. And plus, he's such a decent guy because in his recent interview, I was looking that he said that it's not the problem that people like him can buy so many houses and there are some people like me who can't even afford one house. It's not problem with him, it's the problem there are loopholes in the law. It's not very easy for a first time home buyer to buy a house in Toronto or nearby city. And it is very true, it is very difficult for a first time home buyer to buy a decent house which is not like a million dollar in Toronto. For example, this tiny house it's very tiny and it was listed for $999.99. I think they were giving some kind of discount of $1. Oh my god! Wow! I'm not sure. But anyways, this house was listed for approximately $1 million and guess what? It was sold for $1.8 eight million dollars nearly twice its asking price it's so crazy housing market in toronto is just unaffordable at this point of time and i'm not making this video to scare you i'm just making this video so that you are aware of what's happening in canada but don't worry if you can't get a house in toronto there are many nearby cities where you can get a decent house in a very lower price so I hope you like this video. I'm trying something new to bring to this channel which is informative, entertaining along with the videos about colleges and universities. I hope you will like this video and I will bring more such videos and I will try to improve with each and every video. If you like this video, please do hit that like button. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and also comment if you have any question. Don't hesitate to comment or message me on Instagram and I will see you in my next video till then take care and bye bye